out to the practice facility. I'm here with Ron Scheid, he's the golf pro, and he's going to lovingly correct my swing, God willing, I don't know. Ron, thanks so much for taking the time. Um, tell me a little bit about, how long have you been in this position? Uh, so I've been here for a year and a half now. This is my second season uh, here in the Midwest. Um, fun place to be, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably one of the luckiest guys uh, here in the area, in <laughs> right. Quad City. Uh, almost 20,000 individuals come through our doors, whether they're from the Quad City area, from the tri-state area, from outside of the Midwest, they're from all over the place. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we also get to meet 156 tour players every July. Right, so, because this is the home. This is home of uh, the John Deere Classic as well, right? That's exactly it. That's exactly it. So it's getting to meet the people, getting to know the personalities, and facilitating golf. I mean, I come to work at a golf course every day. It's <laughs> it's pretty nice. It that's, doesn't get too much better. That's great. So I'm I know that you haven't you haven't seen me swing a club yet. Not yet. And I'm sure you're going to cringe and tear. So <laughs> I mean, I've got my I've got my seven iron out. That's kind of my, you know close approach game club that I've been using quite a bit. Yep. Uh, I'm going to just hit one and just, you know, tell me what I'm looking at. What, what am I looking at? All right. right. How awful is this? All right. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot going on there. We've got a lot to work on. I mean, we're going to start with the look. Okay. <laughs> Okay. You look pretty good, actually. You've got flat front pants on. You've yep. got a collared shirt buttoned all the way up. You actually do pretty well. You got your golf spikes got on. Spikes on. That's everything. not bad at all. Right. Um, then we start to break down. Okay. Uh, bad grip, bad posture, bad weight transfer, bad turn. All of oh, that man. needs improvement. Um, okay. But the biggest thing is is the grip. Uh, okay. Right from the start, you've got what we call a baseball grip or a ten right. finger grip, right. uh, where you've got the two hands split apart. Uh -huh. It makes it difficult to hinge the club and rotate the club face over uh, with that split grip. Okay. So what we'd like to see is we'd like to see the hands closer together by going with either an overlap grip or an interlock grip. Okay. So on an overlap grip, you're going to take your right pinky finger and you're gonna stick it over the gap between the left index and left middle finger, just okay. like that. All the rest of the fingers aside from that right pinky finger are going to be touching the club. Okay. There you go. All right. Yep, exactly like that. That's called the overlap grip, the Varden overlap. Now, keep your hands in that position. You're gonna stick the right pinky finger out and the left index finger out and then wrap the two together. Okay. That's what we call the interlocking grip. Okay, that feels a little bit more comfortable for me. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for which one of those is more comfortable for you. Um, and if, if it's the interlock, then great. But essentially it gets those hands a little closer that's together, allows you to get a little bit better wrist hinge at the top and allows you to square up the club face a little bit more effectively as well. Okay. So we'll start there. All right. Ready for some more help? <laughs> oh, anything that you can help me with, I'll take it. That's, All right. that's for sure. A little bit of bend at the knees and a lot of bend at the hips to get those arms out in front of you. Now where you fall apart is on the way down. <laughs> I fall apart in a lot of places. <laughs> it is. But that's the biggest thing. As you get to the finish, you want to have all of your weight up on your right foot, and that allows that left heel to come up off the ground like this. I mean, I am a bow-legged man. <laughs> so we've got half of our weight on our left and half of our weight on our right foot. Mm -hmm. As we make the transition to the top, we're just turning our shoulders and turning our hips. So we're not moving any weight back okay. or moving any weight forward. We're literally just turning the hips and turning the shoulders up to the top. All right. So still keeping my feet too wide? Uh, feet are a little better there. You're starting to look up towards the target before you come through to impact. The biggest thing, and the biggest thing about the weight transfer, and we see this a lot in a golf swing, is we like the weight transfer on the way down to go towards the target. So for a right-handed golfer to the left, for a left-handed golfer to the right foot. All right, back to the top and freeze. All right, see how your hips are pointed at the target? Yeah. We want to get your hips turning. Turn it other way, other way. Other way? There you go. Okay. So when you get to the top of the backswing, keep going, keep going. There you oh, go. Okay. So it's almost like your bottom is facing towards the target. Up sure. At the top. Okay. All right. All so right, give me a full, full swing. Full motion. No golf ball. There you go. Two more. All right, hit the ground this last time. Good. There you go. 
Yeah. So tell me, how long have you been a golf pro? I mean, you've been here for two years, but how long have you been a, a pro? Yeah, I've been teaching golf for about 10 years now. I started uh, back when I was still in college, uh, through some internships, was uh, teaching back in Connecticut, and then started working for TPC about nine years ago, and then I've just transferred out here. But I love the organization we work for, and I love this area too. It's uh, Quad Cities has been a lot of fun, a lot of things to do, beautiful weather, and a lot of golf around here too. Oh, plenty, plenty of golf. All right, Ron, I think I got one good one in me. All right, let's All right. try it. As, is this the worst you've seen? No, oh, no, good. no, no, no. That's all, that's all I need to hear for, for me is I'm not the worst golfer you've seen. And you know what? The good news is it only gets better for you from here. So you got a lot to look forward to. There you go. Much better. You keep working on that, it'll continue to get straighter keep and straighter. Getting straighter and straighter. Because that's, right. that's the whole point is to, is to shoot straight, right? Want to keep it straight, want to get it up in the air, and you want to enjoy it. You know, golf's about having fun. And that's what I'm all about. I'm ready to go have some fun on the course with right. you, man. Let's do it.